All right, so now we're working on number nine. Okay, number nine is actually, you know, pretty difficult, you guys. Um, there's a lot that needs to be done here, and the way that we need to be approaching this particular question is trying to, you know, get all of the components on one side, set it equal to zero, so that we can use the quadratic formula. Okay, um, so that's, you know, what makes this one so difficult, especially since you don't have a calculator. Um, but what we're starting with here is we've got m squared plus 15m, let's see, plus 15m plus 54 plus 54, all of that is over m plus 6, and then equal to m minus 9 divided by 3. So um, there's a lot of different ways that you could approach this particular problem, but what I decided to do was to cross multiply first, okay, like this. So that means I'm going to do 3 times m squared plus 15m plus 54, set that equal to m minus 9 times m plus 6. So cross multiplication was the first step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to distribute this 3 inside the parentheses. And over here on the right hand side, I'm actually going to apply my FOIL technique to try to figure out what all of this is equal to. Okay, so first working on the left, distributing through, we get 3m squared plus 3 times 5 is 45. So that's 45m plus, and now we need 54 times 3. And when I did 54 times 3, let me look at my scratch paper here. Um, when I did 54 times 3 on my scratch paper, what I got there was 162, it looks like. I think that's right. Uh, yeah. There we go, 162. Sorry that took me so long to look up. Set that equal to, and so the FOIL technique, that means we multiply the firsts, which is m times m. m times m gives me m squared. The outside, which is gonna be the six times m, and so that's gonna be plus six m. Next, the inside components, which is the nine times m, but that is minus nine m because of this negative symbol right here. And then next, the L stands for last, so that's going to be 9 times 6, and that's a negative, so that's minus 54, okay? Now I'm going to try to get like terms together, and so um, I'm going to just work on the right side right now. 3m squared plus 45m plus 162 equals m squared I'm combining the 6m and the negative 9m. So that becomes minus 3m and then minus 54, okay? Now I'm going to start rearranging it so that I can get the whole equation equal to 0, so that I can get it in the form of, you know, ax squared plus bx plus c, so that I can identify the values of a, b, and c to go into the quadratic formula. So I'm going to subtract m squared from both sides. So do that right here. Okay, I'm going to add 3m to both sides. So over here that becomes plus 3m. And I'm going to add 54 to both sides. So I'm going to do that over here. And so then, on the right, I've got equals zero. And then on the left, what I've got is 2m squared plus 48m plus 216, set equal to zero. So now I have the values of a, b, and c to plug into my quadratic formula. You guys might recall that the quadratic formula, we've got m here, so I'm going to use m instead of x. That is m equals negative b 
plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a. So we've got to plug in our a, b, and c terms into that quadratic formula. Okay, And when I did that um, to solve for the value of m, I'm going to just save some work here. I got m is equal to um, either negative 6 or negative 18. And so I believe the answer that I had on my answer key was negative 18. Um, but I do believe also um, that negative 6 is a correct answer as well. Um, and so if you got negative 6 but I marked it wrong, please let me know because I will correct that in the gradebook. Okay? So that's it for question number nine on the math pre-assessment.